Seniors have been targeted by scammers before, posing as grandchildren claiming to need money. Well, now there's another fraud making the rounds, with organized criminals bilking the elderly out of hundreds of thousands. Today, 14 suspects were arrested. CTV's Quebec Bureau Chief Jean-Via Beauchemin is here. And Jan, what are police saying about this scam? Yes, Andy, officers say it was a long and complicated investigation to unmask these fraudsters. Getting hold of seniors via their landlines, a criminal group reached across the country to scam them out of their life savings. Ontario and Quebec police joined forces to dismantle the fraud ring, arresting 14 people in the Montreal area. This crime goes beyond just financial distress. It causes substantial emotion, suffering, emotional suffering as well. The scam brought in at least $2.2 million. Police identified 126 victims across Canada, though many were from Ontario. Fifteen of them were re-victimized multiple times. The fraud, the emergency grandparent scam. They would impersonate police officers, judges, lawyers and loved ones, preying on grandparents who believed they were trying to help family, family members in trouble. Hello. The victims got a call like the one Mabel Beharrell received and spoke about three weeks ago. And I would do anything to help my grandchildren. The caller said her 16-year-old grandson Mitchell was pulled over and drugs were found. He said, I need $8,000 to get out of jail. Then someone saying they were with the RCMP got on the line, though Beharrell sensed something. And I said, uh, look it. I am not going to say anything to you until you give me my grandson's last name. He got mad and hung up the phone. She got hold of her grandson, who was safe at home and didn't hand over any cash. But police say some of the victims were threatened with violence if they did not pay up. Victims were coerced through manipulative tactics to make payments and were further isolated by the threat of a gag order. Those arrested face charges including extortion, fraud and impersonating a police officer. Officials also wanted to issue a reminder that no legitimate police officers will come to your door or phone you to demand money. And they say many of the victims' sense of trust was completely shattered. Hmm. Sandy. Jean-Vier